What's going on guys? It's Taiko White here for Team Card Fighters United and today I'm here with you guys for another deck profile and it's going to be a kind of deck profile that I'm going to try to do a lot of because I've recently discovered the beauty that is budget decks that actually do something. As you can see here we are going to be doing a Nova Grappler budget deck with an Extreme Battler almost, it's not. It's like, it's Rush stuff. It's mostly just Rush things. He's just a good, he's a good card. But, as you can see, I have two starters. Because, surprisingly enough, I run two different starters in this deck. It's, uh, it's because I like having the option at the beginning of the game to choose how I want to play. This is for that game, so I just have the two different ones. Let's go over these skills. Uh, first we have... Extreme Battler Cabutron. Cabutron's skill is Generation Break 1. Counter Blast 1 put it into your soul at the end of the battle that it boosted. You can pay the cost to choose one of your other rear guards, stand it, and it gets plus 2. So it's basically an after boost, free stand, give it plus 2 for a Counter Blast. It's not free stand, but for a Counter Blast and that. So you can help get some of your skills going off, especially since there's a lot of rush units in the deck. It's a very helpful skill. And of course, everybody knows uh, Ron Bull because he was the OG, that OG Extreme Battler starter that everybody uses. Stream Battle of the Rumble. His skill is uh, Generation Break 1. Whenever one of your other units in the same column as that unit stands, stand this unit. So it does apply to stand triggers because it does not say by the effect of one of your cards. Alright, let's get into the Grade 3s. The main Grade 3 of this deck. Four copies. Of Envoy of Righteousness, Crystal Devil. Crystal Devil is an amazing card in my opinion, and I don't see how it's a common. His skill is uh, Generation Break 1. Whenever it attacks, you can pay the cost to choose one of your rear guards with the Rush ability. Stand it until the end of turn it gets. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked a Vanguard, stand this unit. So that's out of one unit. If it has Rush, you can use this guy to get three attacks out of it. Minimum. It's it's pretty it's pretty nice. And then his secondary effect is uh, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1. Whenever it's placed on Vanguard, pay the cost. If you do choose one of your rear guards until the end of turn, it gains the ability of, at the end of the battle that attacked, a Vanguard, stand it, and it gets plus 2,000 at the end of the turn. There is so much standing going on with this guy. He is a, an amazing card. And this deck is somewhat Counter Blast heavy. Okay, it's, depending on the how your uh, your game goes, it can get very, very Counter Blast heavy or barely any Counter Blast at all. Very depending on how your hand ends up because this deck can play in very different ways. The next Grade 3 is something we run 3 of. It's another really great Grade 3 in my, in my opinion. Muscle Shriek. Muscle Shriek can give you a little bit of um, field control. Because of his uh, Muscle Shriek's on placement skill. The skill is, his first skill is Generation Break 1. Counter Blast 2, whenever it attacks, you can stay, pay the cost to stand two of your units and uh, give them plus 2,000. So, again, that's a lot of standing power. And I love these cards. And I can't believe how, like, just, they're they're both, like, 10 cents a piece. Like, this is a budget deck. I paid $23 for this deck. It's, uh, and it's really fun to play. I love it. Secondary skill is just like Crystal Devil of the Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, but the skill is whenever it's placed on Vanguard, you can choose one of your rear, grade 1 or less rear guards, and, um, yeah, choose one of your opponent's great, or choose one of your grade 1 or less rear guards, and choose one of your opponent's rear guards with less power, or power equal to the unit's power, and retire it. So, on place, Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, so you've got this guy out, pop your starter. It's just, it's really beautiful, and I just enjoy using that effect. There is also one last grade three that I was kidding when I put it in this deck, and then it worked, and it made me so happy. The one, the only, my avatar. Gold Rutile. Uh, yes, Gold Rutile, the beast himself. And I obviously, just like Morikawa, only run one. His skill is, when your rear guard's attack hits a vanguard, choose one card from your damage zone and turn it face up. What? This is a, this is a trial deck card from season one, and it does that? Oh, just use this. So you've got this behind it. Uh, attack, after you've attacked with the rear guards. Either them hit, you counter charge. 
If this guy's attack hits, you can counter blast two and stand something. And whether it hits or not, you can move this guy to soul, counter blast one, stand something else, and you're counter charging every time something hits. That's our rear guard. Like, that's really good, and something I'm really hoping for is for a gold rutile revival. I don't care if it's a stride or a legion, anything. This card is just, I love playing with it. It's really fun. Especially because you can uh, run Madu in the deck. To, if you have to ride that guy first, you can just drop uh, drop Madu to hit it to G-Break. For all your other effects will go off. We're going on the Great Twos now. First up, we have Master Kung Fu. Totally not a Kung Fu Panda. It's not like it's a, literally a panda that does Kung Fu. Okay. But uh, his skill is Rush, which is very important. Uh, whenever it stands due to the effect of one of your cards, it gains. Counter Blast 1. When this unit attack hits a Vanguard, we pay the cost. If you do choose out one of your other rear guards, stand it, and it gets plus 5. This card can pull off a very, very broken combo. See, this is your field. Let me just show you guys something very bad that can happen. Let's see, uh, oddly enough, this is your uh, this is your damage. So you attack with this. It doesn't matter what you attack, you attack a rear guard, take a rear guard, you know, maybe it drops from the rear guards. Which is very plausible to do since you are going to stand back up anyway. Attack with this. Use this skill. Uh, counter charge, or... Uh, counter blast, move it to soul. Stand something, that's in rush. Attack. If they let this hit... Like, if they don't have guard power when you're doing this, let this hit, it hits. Skill. Counter Blast 1. Stay in this, give it plus 5. Skill of Gold Rutile. Counter Charge. Attack. If it hits, Counter Blast 1. Stand. Plus 5. Gold Rutile. Counter Charge. If you can make that happen, it is way too beautiful. That is like, if you have that field when your opponent has almost no hand, that is almost guaranteed. That's like a, that's a win condition right there. And it's beautiful. It doesn't happen often, but when it does, it's majestic. So yeah, this is pretty good. I run him, and he's like the cheaper version of, uh, this is, what's his name? Cool Hank, because Cool Hank is like expensive. It's the budget deck. This card just worked really well, because Rush, so a lot of my Rush effects will go off because of him that I couldn't use with Cool Hank. Because, like I said, most of this deck is Rush. Here's one of the few cards that is not Rush. Extreme Battler, Suzanda. I run three. And Suzanda's skill is uh, whenever it stands to the effect of one of your cards, it gets plus five. You know, it's a really basic skill. It, uh... It doesn't have Rush, so a lot of your Rush skills can't go off with it, but it's okay because it's just a good card to have because it can build up really easily. So I just enjoy running it, because I've always ran that in my, uh, I actually played a Gold Rutile base deck for a while, and that was one of the main cards in it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a really good card to have, and this deck is meant to be fun. Like, that's why I have the two different starters, I have the Gold Rutile in there, this is a fun deck, and it's budget. One of the best things about this deck, or one of just the really fun things about it, is Magical Gambler. Magical Gamblers, you guess, is definitely a very, very risky card. Very gambly card. Counter Blast 1, whenever it stands, the effect of one of your cards, pay the cost. If you do, put the top card of your deck into your drop, and this increases its unit's power by the original power of the card put into the drop. So, Counter Blast 1, a, in this deck, it can get anywhere from plus 4 to plus 11. <laughs> For one Counter Blast. <laughs> so, it's a Counter Blast cost. But it's definitely just a fun thing because it's really risky and you have no idea what you're going to get. And it's just one of the things that makes this deck really random and fun. And a very important thing about this deck is you want to rush early. And the last grade 2 we're running, because uh, we want more counter charge, is Babyface uh, Narcissus. Babyface Narcissus' skill is Rush. These two are the only two out of the grade 2 lineup that have Rush. Uh, whenever it stands, the effect of one of your cards, till the end of the turn, it gets... 
the skill of rear guard, generation break one, whenever an attack hits, counter charge, soul charge. Which is a really good skill because whenever it hits, counter charge, soul charge. So you think it's an on hit, that's kind of gross, because why would you want that on hit? Well, that has to stand first. But if you're using a bunch of effects and standing it constantly, it can hit multiple times, and therefore, it's just a fun time. And if you're on gold rutile, then it hits, you counter charge twice, and soul charge. So, yeah, it's definitely fun to run. You can Instead of running that, you can run Starlight Hedgehog, which is uh, once per turn when it stands, counter charge. Which isn't bad, I just like that, because um, it's just a... F it's like more... It can... It's more risky, but there's a good reward that can come of it. So it's just a card I like to run. And now on to grade 1s. This powerhouse, this literal monster. Basically grade 1 Susanna. You're going to look at me and think at first, no, that's not grade 1 Susanna, you're dumb. It's literally not what that does. But it does. I looked it up, and it does work how I'm about to explain it. Skill is, this is Kuma the Destroyer. Kumar, he's, he's a beast. He's a beast. His skill is Rush, Rear Guard. Generation Break 1, when this unit stands with the effect from one of your cards, to the end of turn it gains the skill of when it attacks, give it plus 5. Oh, so if you stand it once, then he just becomes, you know, it's a 12k attacker. Stand it again, and you would normally think, oh, well, I only got the plus 5 to the end of battle, so it's just another 12k. You're right, the plus 5 went away. But, it, but because of the wording of this card, when this unit stands, do the effect from one of your cards until end of turn, it gets when this unit attacks, you get plus five. So it stands, it gets plus five, attack, you get plus five. If it stands again, that's that first part of the skill about giving him that skill goes off a second time, giving him the skill twice. And when he attacks, the skill goes off twice, giving him plus ten when he attacks. So, if you play that correctly, it is very, very good, especially with this beautiful creature right here. Four, Raj Dominern, or let me, this is a really hard name to pronounce, honestly. It's Raja Dominern Kid. Raja Dominern Kid's skill is the same as the uh, Rumble Starter, except it only, it only works when another unit with the rush ability in the same column as unit stands from the effect of one of your cards. So it's a lot more limited than the starter, but it definitely works well with um, Kumar. Because I'm probably going to switch this and run four Kumar and three Raja Dominarn because Kumar is effective. Whatever I get it, and Raja Dominarn has to have a rush guy in front of it. But. If you have these two in a column and you start doing that, that standing stuff. So it hits 14 the first time, and then this guy stands, and he gets the plus 5 skill, and this guy will stand with him. So it's 14 plus 5, 19, second time, 24, and it just, it just keeps happening because it's, you're already hitting big with him. It's because, you know, it's a 14k column, which is nice, and the second time it's 19, and then it just keeps building from there because of that card. Because I run 4 of him, it's just a very good card to have. Next is, I don't know why nobody runs this, because I really enjoy this card. It's not the counter charge perfect guard. It is extreme battler headstrong battle. It's gachi battle in Japanese. I like that name better, but it's headstrong battle in English. Sad face. Well, you see, uh, his skill is he's obviously he's a perfect guard, so he's got the perfect guard skill. And the second skill is generation break one when it's placed on guardian. If there's a card named extreme battler headstrong battle in your drop, use one of your rear guards and it gains the ability counter blast one at the beginning of the battle that your vanguard is attacked. Pay the cost if you do move it to guardian at rest and it gets plus ten. So, say you have a starter on the field, and something's getting swung out, you can counter bust one. Spear call it to your guardian circle, plus 10, so it's a 20k shield. So, uh, it's a G guardian right there. And I feel like that's good for, instead of the counter charging, for extra guard power when you need it. So, I definitely feel like, I just, just feel like that's a really good skill to have. And it's only, it's a, uh, I believe, 97 cent card, which is like the most expensive card in the stack. And then, last grade one. Running one copy of Final Ranch. Final Ranch skills, whenever another one of you uses the same call as you, it stands with the effect of one of your cards, it gets plus four. So, you know, it's something that I would throw, and if I don't have him, I can throw it behind Kumar, so it'll get plus four every time Kumar stands. But usually I want to put him behind something else. Like, one of my non-rush guys, like uh, Magical Gambler and Sazanda, I throw it behind him. 
I don't get him often, but when I do, it's usually when I would need him. So it's it's a good skill to have because it's free. You don't have to pay anything for the uh, for the extra plus four to go off. So it's really just nice skills. That's just just my one of of the deck, besides you know gold rutile. Next, moving on to oh, I have a oh, one more grade one. I for it's like one of the most important cards of the deck, and I forgot about it. I have a tendency to do that. Two copies of the Cray Elemental Air Elemental Twitter Run. Twitter Run's skill is uh, rest this unit. If you have a grade 3 Vanguard and there are no face-up cards in your G-Zone and no unit was placed on your opponent's Vanguard during the ride phase of your opponent's preceding turn, draw a card and put this unit in your G-Zone face-up. G-Zone skill, this card counts as a G-Unit. Uh... Another skill in the G-Zone, whenever a card, grade 3 or greater, is placed in your opponent's Vanguard Circle, put this card in your drop zone face up. Uh, this card is also, you know, from all kinds of nations, because it's a, uh... It's Cray Elemental. The thing about this card is, if your opponent's just trying to stick on grade 2 because you are a G-Deck, you have this, this punishes them hard. Because all the skills that I have these guys use... Most of them are, like, almost all of them are G-Break, except for um, Gold Rutile, Muscle Shriek, and uh, Crystal Devil all, all have skills that I can use when I'm not in G-Break. But the thing is with this guy, I can use him to still hit G-Break, and then I can have a, like, 6 or 7 attack turn before they've even strode. Just because, they, and this is why they're on grade 2, just because they thought it'd be a good idea to stay on grade 2 because I am a G-deck. This card punishes people who think that's a good idea. I love it. It has saved my butt so many times. And if it goes into your damage zone, it makes people scared. It makes them not want. Or if you just, you know, call it. It makes them not want to go into. Or not want to stay on grade 2. So, either way, you're accomplishing your goal. Next, we have four copies of the Stand Trigger. Perfect Referee 299. <coughs> referee 299 skill is, uh, you can, it's a generation break skill, and you can choose one of your other units, and it gains the, it gains the effect of uh, Kuma the Destroyer. The, whenever it stands, it gains the skill of plus five. It's worded exactly the same as Kuma, so it works the same way as Kuma. In the fact that... Uh, if that unit with, that you give the skill to is constantly restanding, it's constantly getting the skill again, and it's constantly going to hit harder. I got the great idea during a fight. Ended up with two of these. I'm like, God, that's dead draw. I'll just, I don't really need both of them. And then I thought about, wait a second. Call, skill to Kumar, send it back. Call, skill to Kumar, send it back. Every time Kumar standed, or stood, standed's not a word, that was dumb. But every time he stood, he gained plus 15. So this is a key part of this deck. I love this card. I just hate the fact that it's called Referee 299, and on the card, the, the clock says 293. Uh, next, we have another stand trigger that goes back into the deck. Grapple Mania. Grapple Mania is skill. Oh, now an attack hits a Vanguard during the battle of this unit boosted a Nova Grappler. You can uh, counter charge and send this back to your deck. Partially wanted it because counter charging is good. Mostly wanted it because it's a stand trigger that goes back to the deck, just like Referee 299. So I'm constantly sending stand triggers back to the deck. And, which is, I, I like standing in this deck. It just makes me happy. <laughs> Next we have Extreme Battler Zanbara, which is four crit. And I'm probably switching this out for four more stands. <laughs> which seems weird, but the stand I'm switching out for is Energy Girl. And Energy Girl's skill is... Uh, whenever it boosts a Nova Grappler that attacked a Vanguard, I think it's I think it has to attack a Vanguard. I'm not sure. Like I don't have the card in front of me to know, but I'm pretty sure it has to attack a Vanguard. Uh, choose one of your rear guards, stand it, and send this card back to deck. So has another stand that stands something on the field. So if I tribe check it, that stood something. In the next turn, I can use it to stand something again. So that's just constantly standing and hitting your opponent repeatedly, making them drop more and more from their hand. It's an easy way to get some of your engines going because it sets off your rush abilities. And it goes back to deck. So there's just constantly your opponent worrying about, oh my god, he keeps sending all of these stand triggers back to his deck. I have to worry about him getting them. So yeah, I'm definitely switching that crit out. But you can run 
mostly crits in this deck because it would still work. Because it's a rush face deck, I just really enjoy the constant stance. Lastly, we have my favorite heal trigger in Nova's Training Therapist. It's my favorite, but just because of the fact that it says you too will be a Nova Grappler from tomorrow onward. I don't know something about this card. Just I just enjoy it. So yeah, uh, that's going to be all for the main deck. Let's hurry up and do the strides, and then we will be done with this deck profile. Uh, first, we have probably the boss stride, because this is a budget deck, so none of that Victor and uh, that one guy that restands, that I forget the name of, because I don't play him in this deck. But I'm going to try to get Bustard when he comes out, because he works well with this deck, because I almost always have a full field, and standing lots of things makes me happy. But... This is Meteo Kaiser Tribrute. Tribrute's skill is Counterblast 1 whenever a rear guard stands to the effect of one of your cards, it gets plus 2. And choose one of your opponent's rear guards with less than or equal to that unit's attack. And retire it. So, oh, what's that? They have a good field. I'm going to stand and watch this turn, aren't I? Huh. Field control. Get rid of all of your good things. It's just beautiful. Next up, we have four copies of Meteo Kaiser Vic 10. Vic 10 is just the on hit, and his skill is whenever its attack hits, choose one of your guards, standing at a plus five. This is again a budget deck, and this deck or this card is forty five cents. And because of how good your other cards are, it doesn't matter that it's an on hit because you just need it to hit G. Like I don't stride often in this deck after I hit G. But if that card does hit, that's more standing and more skills going off, and it's beautiful. Next, we have this card specifically for my gold rutile. One copy of Rain Elemental Madu. You know, everybody knows what Madu does. If you have a heart with 10,000 or, le or less uh, power, uh, choose a grade 3 from your drop, put it in your hand. So basically, uh, if you have a, a 10k heart, it's a uh, free stride. And then running two copies of Snow Element Blizza. I love Blizza. Blizza is our lord and savior, and if you guys don't know, there's going to be a video coming out soon that's going to explain to you why Blizza is now broken. Extremely broken. It's beautiful. A beautiful creature. But, everyone knows what Blizza does also. It's a very staple card. It's counter plus one, use a visit card in G zone, turn it face up, and whenever it attacks a vanguard, it gets plus five for every face up unit. And that's going to be it today, guys. Remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe on any other budget uh, any claims you want me to try to do a budget deck for. I know that I have a um, budget deck coming out soon. There will be one that Mac is doing for uh, Gear Chronicle. There is another one that will be coming out for uh, whatever is in these sleeves. You're going to have to wait to find out. Go ahead and leave a try, try, try to guess guess what it is in these sleeves but yeah that is that's gonna be all for this video guys really like comment subscribe uh, I, I've had a headache this entire video so if I did if this is a bad commentary I apologize please love me I'm really lonely peace